Hi there. Welcome to Nighthawk Archery. My name is Ken Johnson and I'm here to explain to you why the Nighthawk peep sight is the first revolution in peep sights since the 17th century. That is right. Your peep sight was first invented in the 1600s. Why is the Nighthawk peep sight a revolution? Because it uses 21st century technology. By that I mean we're using the 21st century understanding of light and how it is affected when it passes through a peephole. So let's get started by watching this short little video clip. This is a fantastic video in that what it shows is the sun coming above the horizon. Now for our purposes we know that this being the horizon, this is the edge. This is the edge of the earth. There's the sun coming up and you notice the light being pulled from the sun to the earth and we get these little legs. Notice too that when it's pulled, it is pulled perpendicular to the edge which is the horizon. Now we know the sun is round. So the only thing that this can be is a distortion of the sun. As the sun keeps rising, the diffraction is going to diminish. And as soon as the sun gets far enough above the horizon, the diffraction will end. higher and higher and higher and the diffraction is coming to an end and it's still a little bit and yeah now we have a round sun and we always knew it was round but now we see it's round hi again I hope you enjoyed that little video clip you know we learned two things in that video clip one is that all light edges diffract light now if I hold this piece of paper up in front of my eye and look at it and I will see it appears fuzzy and that's because light is being diffracted. The light passing the edge is pulled towards the edge and I do not see it. Look at the edge of my nose, same thing happens. Remember the horizon of the earth, the same thing happened. The second thing about light diffraction is it always diffracts perpendicular to the edge. We saw that in the video. So what I'm going to do now is demonstrate to you what happens when light passes through a quarter inch round peephole and a number four nighthawk peephole. Now these are examples of a round, round quarter inch round peep sight and this is an example of a number four nighthawk peep sight. Both are proportional. Now, remember what we learned from the video? Light diffracts along any edge. All edges diffract light. We have edges here, and that diffracts light. We have edge here, edge here, edge here, and edge here. They all diffract light. We also know from our video that light is always diffracted perpendicular to the edge. So, light is pulled perpendicular to the edge perpendicular to the edge and in the round hole peep in 17th century technology it was pulled directly from the center of the peep site. Now let's go to 21st century technology and light is diffracted again perpendicular to the edge so it's diffracted like this it's diffracted like this and it's diffracted like this and it's diffracted like this both are diffracted perpendicular to the edge now notice the difference here the diffraction is drawn drawing light from the center of the peephole here the diffraction is only in the slots it cannot go beyond the slots because there's no edge 
for it to diffract. 17th century technology, 21st century technology. So the, this peep is dependent on light diffraction. This peep is not. This one is always clear no matter what happens to the light, and this one is not. What happens when light gets dimmer and the diffraction becomes more dominant? Of course. More light is pulled from the center of the peephole. And pretty soon enough light is pulled from the center of the peephole that you will not be able to see through it. But what happens here? The diffraction increases, right? As light gets dimmer, the diffraction increases. But what happens? The peephole always remains the same because light cannot diffract beyond the edge. 17th century technology, 21st century technology. Which is the most accurate? Of course, the 21st century technology. Hi again. Hey, what have we learned? Well, we've learned that, that light diffraction does exist, and we've also learned that it can be very damaging to your peep sight if not eliminated. We've also demonstrated that the Nighthawk peep sight is the only peep sight that can eliminate light diffraction from your peephole. So why not abandon the 17th century and move into the 21st century shoot a Nighthawk peep sight. You'll gain accuracy, you'll improve your hunting, and you'll shoot higher scores. And that's all guaranteed. It's guaranteed not only by Nighthawk, but it's also guaranteed by the science that's behind the peep sight. There's no way you can lose. So I thank you very much for your time, and may God bless us all.